Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to everyone. So now we are going to look at second subtopic for chapter 7 uh, which is combination. So the objective for this video is to understand combination of a set of objects and to determine the number of ways to form combination of our objects from n objects. So before we go further, I would like to give a brief definition of what is combination really is. Uh, so the combination is when a set of object is selected and order does not taken into consideration. For example, ABC and BCA uh, represents equivalent combinations of the letter ABC. So the difference between permutation and combination is uh, permutations are used when order is important but combination are used when order is not important. Okay, so let's look at example. Uh, state whether each of the following is permutation or a combination. Okay, so for A, a hand of 13 cards drawn from a deck of cards. So it is a combination because the order of the card is not important. For B, five picture placed in a row. Okay, it is permutation uh, because the order is important. Eh? When we want to place in a row, we are going to consider the order. So it is permutation. For C, a team of 11 players chosen from a group of 23 combinations. Okay, this is a combination because we want to choose uh, 11 persons to become players from 23 candidates. Uh, but the order of the chosen player is not important. It is a combination. And for D, the arrangements of the letters in the word Vanessa and Hudgens, uh, it is permutations because order is important. Uh, because if we reshuffle the letters, it will form another word. Uh, so order is important. It is called permutation. So the conclusion is, uh, for permutations, arrangement is important. Uh, AB is not equal to BA. But for combinations, arrangement is not important. AB and BA are the same combinations. So the number of combinations of R objects taken from N distinct objects uh, without regards to the order of selection is denoted by NCR. Or we can write it this way. Okay, so NCR, uh, this is the definition. NCR is equals to N factorial over N minus R factorial times with R factorial. Okay, uh, and the value of the above notation can also be obtained directly by using calculator. Okay, so for example, um, we want to evaluate 5C2. So the formula is equals to 5 factorial over 5 minus 2 factorial times with 2 factorial okay according to the formula and then we are going to use calculator to evaluate the value so the answer is 10 okay for question b uh, to evaluate we can directly use calculator also so 73 is 7 c3 uh, by using calculator 7 c3 is equal to Thirty-five. Uh, next, let's look at example two. In how many ways could a quiz team of four be chosen from a group of 15 students? Okay, so we want to choose four students from 15. Uh, so 15 C4. So we can press calculator directly or we can use the formula which is 15 factorial over 15 minus 4 which is 11 factorial and then multiply with 4 factorial so the answer is 1365 okay and next let's look at example 3 a team of 7 players is to be chosen from a group of 12 players one of the 7 is then to be selected captain and another one is to be vice captain in how many ways can this be done so we have uh, 12 players okay so we are going to choose seven players and from the seven players we are going to choose a captain okay and from the remaining six after we subtract the captain 
we are going to choose the vice captain okay so multiplying everything we get three three two six four okay so let's look at example four five students were chosen from a group of eight boys and five girls so we have eight boys and five girls and we want to choose five students in how many ways could the group be chosen if there are to be more boys than girls in that group okay so this is an important characteristic uh, we've got to choose more boys than girls in that group okay so we want to choose a total number of five students uh, there must be more boys so the possible combination is uh, there might be five boys and uh, zero girls or it might be four boys and one girls or it can be three boys and two girls but it cannot be two boys and three girls eh? because it would uh, defy the conscience okay so now we have xc5 uh, times with uh, 5c0 okay here we have xc4 okay times with 5c1 and here we have xc3 multiply with 5c2 okay so uh, the number of combinations here when we calculate we are going to get 56 here and then here is 350 and here will be 516 okay and then we have to find the total of combinations so the answer is 966 Okay, and then let's move on to example 5. A committee consists of three members is to be formed from a group of 25 including five women. How many different committees can be chosen without any restriction if there must be at least one woman? Okay, so without any restriction, uh, we can just calculate 25C3. So the answer is 2,300. Okay, but for B... Uh, there must be at least one woman okay at least a woman eh? at least one woman okay so uh, we have five women and 20 men so there must be at least one woman okay so a woman can be either one two or three okay if uh, there is one woman man is two okay because we want to form committee which consists of three members if we have two women so we have only one man if we have three women that means we have zero men okay so now we are going to calculate okay so 20 c2 okay multiply with 5 c1 okay the answer is 950 okay or 20 c1 multiply with 5 c2 or 20 c0 multiply with 5 c3 okay so we are going to add everything eh? because it is an or okay so the answer will be 1160